Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install code blocks IDE for C and C++ on Windows 10, okay? So in order to download this software, you have to go to their website that is codeblocks.org, okay? And guys, this website link in the video description, you can check it out. So let me copy this or let me open my web browser. Let me go to the address bar. Let me paste that over here, okay? And after that, let me hit enter key on the keyboard. And you can see guys here we have this you know website of code blocks opened okay and you can see over here it is a free uh, open source cross-platform uh, C C++ and Fortran IDE okay so in order to download this you have to click on this downloads this link okay and on this page here we have three links okay uh, download uh, the binary release download the source code retrieve source code from svn okay so you need to click on this download the binary release so let me click over here okay guys so here we have this page opened and you can see that here we have you know uh, this you know code bar blocks ide available for windows xp vista uh, windows 7 windows 8.x or windows 10 okay so guys here we have various files so you need to download this one code blocks 17.12 minjw setup.exe okay because it includes a c and c plus plus compiler okay so you can download from any link uh, like from foshub or sourceforge.net okay so i'm clicking on this uh, sourceforge.net uh, okay and you can see guys over here your download will start shortly so just wait and you can see guys here we have the setup file so let me click on this desktop because i want to you know save this file on my desktop and after that click on the save button and at the bottom left of my chrome browser you can see it's downloading so you just need to wait okay guys so the file has been downloaded so let me go to my desktop okay so here is the file so in order to you know run this uh, you have to double click on this and you can see guys here we have this uh, window opened welcome to code blocks setup uh, click on this next button and here we have the license agreement okay you can read that if you are interested and then click on this i agree button okay uh, I am leaving this as default click on this next button okay and here we have the destination folder where it will be installed okay so I am leaving this as default but if you want to change this click on this browse button select your destination okay so let me click on this cancel and after that guys click on this install button and you can see over here it's installing so we need to wait you can see that over here we have this a shortcut created so it's, it's still installing so just wait and you can see guys over here we have this little window uh, do you want to run code blocks now so just click on this no button and you can see over here installation complete setup was completed successfully okay uh, click on this next button uh, click on this finish button and you can see guys it's now done okay and here we have the shortcut so just double click on this code blocks uh, to run this and you can see guys over here we have this uh, code blocks opening the open source cross-platform IDE and here is the version number 17.12 okay so here we have this uh, you know GNU GCC compiler uh, detected click on this to select it and then click on this OK button and you can see guys over here file associations now this window we have okay so just like this no uh, leave everything as it is and then click on this OK button and you can see guys here we have the uh, code blocks 17.12 installed on windows 10 okay and it's opened and here we have the start you know page over here okay so here we have some links now create a new project 
open an existing project, tip of the day, uh, visit the code blocks forums, uh, report a bug or request a new feature. Okay. So let me close this start page. Okay. So let's create one project. So for this, click on this file and then click on this new. And here we have the project. Click on this project. Okay. Uh, click on this uh, console application and then click on this go button. And you can see guys here we have this, you know, a uh, window opened console application. Click on this next button. So currently I'm selecting this, you know, C. Uh, click on this next button. Okay. And here we have the project title. So just, you know, give the title of your project. So I'm typing, you know, my uh, C project. Okay. And here we have the folder to create project in. Okay. So just click on this three dots and just, you know, select the folder where you want to create this project. Okay. So uh, let me select, you know, this PC. Uh, let me select this documents. Okay. Uh, you can, you know, select any folder, but I'm selecting this, you know, documents and then click on this OK button. Okay, guys. So here we have the project file name, mycproject.cbp project title folder and here we have the resulting you know file name okay so just click on this you know next button uh, i'm leaving this as you know default you can see over here we have this compiler gnu gcc compiler and then click on this finish button and you can see guys over here we have this you know my c project created so if i expand this uh, sources uh, this folder you can see we have this main.c so if i click on this to select it and after that double click on this and you can see that here we have this you know program created okay and it will print hello world so in order to run this uh, you have to you know click on this build okay and here we have this build and run okay so if i uh, click on this build and run you can see over here we have this hello world output okay so let me close this okay and also guys we have keyboard shortcut if you want to build and run by using keyboard shortcut uh, you can you know use this f9 key okay and also if you want to build and run uh, we have this other option over here uh, build and run if i click on this you can see we have this hello world output okay so let me close this so guys that's it uh, in this way, you can easily install code blocks IDE for C and C++ on Windows 10. So, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please support this channel by subscribing to it. Thanks. Bye-bye.